Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds from November 18th, uh, 2018. Going to be a real quick one today. If you blink, you'll miss it. Uh, let's just get started. Uh, hat to the USS Hancock. Uh, only five bucks. Couldn't really pass that up. Uh, be interesting to look up and see uh, the history of the USS Hancock. See, uh, see when it was in service. Uh, if it was saw any action. Uh, silkworm specimens, so kind of the everything you wanted to know about a silkworm. Uh, there's eggs, <laughs> it's larvae, everything you wanted to know. Uh, pretty interesting in a weird sort of way. Um, but uh, somebody's going to like that, I think. Uh, six bucks on that. Uh, got this for uh, five dollars and I've had them in the past this is a shotgun shell uh, reloader uh, not exactly sure how it works but uh, um, that's what it is I think it's a 12 gauge uh, slide a shell in there and see how it fits um, but uh, only five bucks good deal uh, a few ornaments not finding too many ornaments this year. Normally I find a lot. Uh, a uh, Kurt Adler uh, ornament there, and uh, these two are uh, Appalachian Spring uh, handmade ornaments. I've had them in the past, they've done well. Uh, nice ornaments. A uh, Nutcracker salt and pepper shaker from the Bombay Company, five bucks. A little bit of jewelry here. Uh, picked up a uh, watch here and it's still running uh, 15 bucks that's a uh, Heidi Doss uh, which I've done well with in the past probably a $50 watch right there uh, a couple modified earrings somebody really liked uh, Blue Jays got a two sets of uh, Blue Jay earrings. I like to know the story behind them. Uh, neat Art Deco piece. Kind of small, but uh, got a nice look to it. Uh, sterling silver. Uh, that was five bucks. Uh, some other pearl earrings. That was four dollars. Looks like uh, coral. And uh, this is a gold filled uh, bracelet. That was four dollars. Went to a sale, they had a bunch of these little things out. The bad part is you can't look on the back and see what the mark is. So picked out a few that looked interesting. Here's a St. Jude medallion. Here's a really old one. Um, 18-something, 18 1880 uh, date on it. And uh, this looks like a chauffeur's license. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's a dog tag. 1932. Uh, pair of cufflinks. I've seen that mark before. Kind of looks like a tuning fork. Uh, not quite sure what that is. Nothing really special. Just I remember that mark from somewhere. Love the old uh, tin of uh, incense. Still got a few in there. Uh, just the, the graphics alone are well worth it. Four bucks on that. Probably some of my best finds are these uh, fish food containers. Uh, really surprising. I've had these in the past and done really well with them. Um, some, uh, too bad somebody's poked holes in them. And these two. I could probably uh, push that back. Uh, but people love these old fish food containers. I don't know why. But, uh, I mean, they can bring $20, $30, $40 a piece. A bunch of uh, dreidels, I guess they're dreidels, Jewish games. Um, interesting. Uh, $3 for the whole bag, couldn't pass them up. A few enamel pens, um, military, uh, they even marked 
on the back here. Uh, 301st ASA. And this is uh, 302nd MI Battalion. Should be easy to look up. And Johns Hopkins uh, University one. Uh, some enamel uh, Christmas pins. Most of them are marked Jerry's. This one is marked uh, Beatrix. Uh, good time of the year for those. And a uh, Chanel uh, makeup thing. It's uh, still sealed. Uh, they used to go for pretty good money. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> like I said, don't blink or you'll miss it. Uh, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing. So until next time, this is Will Yard Sales Fivalist, and we'll talk again soon.